So hey guys this is another video tutorial of windows system programming in this tutorial we will see how to create a registry in windows so what is the registry the registry is the is a centralized hierarchical database for application and system configuration information it contains all your system configuration or system related information into the registry key registry always is stored in a key value pair and registry contains some following information below I have listed here first one is the it contains the version number build number and registered user second one is the information about the computers processors types which is the i3 i5 all, all the stuff third one is the user specific information your uh, account related information stored in security information your uh, services installed services and file name and extension there are five types of registry key available in windows first one is the hkey local machine it is stored the physical information about machine along with the installed software second one is the hkey users it defines user configuration information third one is hkey current config it contains current setting of users such as a font and resolution all that thing fourth one is hkey classes root it contains sub subordinate entries to define mapping from file extension to classes Fifth one is HK current user, it contains user specific information. So, how to see the registry window? Go to your Windows start button, type registry edit key.exe, it will open your registry key. I have taken the reference from the JM Hardbook. So, how to see the registry? Type here reg edit. Yes so see here this is the registry editor window and here the five key hk classes root current user local machine users current configurations so so let's start our program i'll use here uh, three api function first one is the registry create key e ex specified the extended version of the existing function so so the return type of that function is long and it will take nine argument first one is the h key type of this h key and this is your key and we have already uh, we have already seen in the registry editor window so we'll create sub key and third argument is reserved so we have to keep null and class in class if you see the api the user defined class type of this key the parameter may be ignored at this parameter can be null so we have to keep here null and fifth one is the options so go to your options there are various options is there so I'll use here registry option non volatile so registry option here the non volatile it says that the key is not volatile this is the default so I'll use uh, this option and this is the desired function so if you go in desired sections so registry key security and access right so if you see here there are various parameter so I'll detect someone this thing key wow 64 underscore 64 key so this indicate that an application 64 window should operate on 64 bit registry view and if you see here in 64 32 key so should operate on 32 bit registry window so if you are using 64 bit operating system so if you 2 bit operating system then you can use this key so security attribute we have to keep here null and this is the PHK result so we will create one uh, H key variable so all the 
result will be pointed to that key and last one is the disposition which is optional if you see the API if this parameter is null so ne no disposition information is re returned so I'll keep here null the return value if the function succeeds the return value is error success and if the function fails the return value is non-zero error code <laughs> we can use the format method I'll show you how to do that but uh, for this time being I'll use here get last error function so let's uh, start our coding here first so I'll use here long first argument is we have to keep option and parameter would be null So the return type of that function is so I'll check the con I'll use one registry close key option here. The return type of that function is also error success. So now we have successfully built our project. So go to debug and start debugging. So see here the registry creation failed. So what we have to do here? We have to run our Visual Studio as a administrator mode. So now our Visual Studio is running in administrator mode. So go to debug again and start debugging so see here registry creation success so type here go to yes so this one is the sub key So go to HK local machine then software and then we have to search this test here so if you see here test go to test see the here product and then a smart ID so we have successfully created the sub key of that key but we we did not put any value on to that so we'll see how to set the value in registry to ex function for set the data and type of the specified value under a registry key so it will take six argument first one is the H key so we will specify here second one is the value name so we have to keep the value name here third one is the reserve so we have to keep null and what is the type so if you see here the type of data pointed to by the parameter so we have to specify here type and this is the data LP data the data to be stored data to be stored and last argument is the pointed by that parameter and the return value of that function is the error success if the function succeeded so second argument is the value name so I'll use here 
value is here r is the d word and lp byte this is the value which will store in our registry key so check this condition again so I'll just copy and paste this here so now we have done so go to build and rebuild our solution once again so rebuild succeeded go to debug and start debugging see here registry creation success registry side value uh, creation success so go to yes see here the value which is the name this value here and the size is d word so d word is here type and information is uh, we have already set in dw here dw data 1 2 3 4 so here the 1 2 3 4 is just stored so this was the basic program of uh, how to create registry how to set the value into that so thanks for watching this video do hit comment like share and subscribe this channel